Another benefit of using CADS RC is how easy it is to add bars and edit bars. If we want to place the top steel in the detail, we use the AutoCAD mirror command. Select the bars we wish to mirror, pick the mirror point, and then say if you want to mirror it as a view or as a set. By mirroring as a set, it has now added more bars on the top, and these bars have been added to our schedule. If you want to edit bars, for example on bar mark 3, if we wish to make it a longer bar, we simply use the CADS RC stretch bar command. We stretch both the section and elevation, pick a start point, tell it how far we want to stretch the detail, and as you can see, this now stretches the detail, including the bar on the drawing. It also updates the bar in the schedule. With this ease of editing, we can also simply pick on the label and change parameters within a bar. For this example, we want to change the top bars from 200 centers to 150. And with the bottom bars, we now want to change the diameter of the bar to, say, a size 32. This will automatically apply the bars to the next bar mark. As you can see, this updates the section, so now the bottom bars are now larger and the top bars have a larger quantity. As expected, all this is automatically updated in our schedule.